everyone ready for today's game, which promises to be a great one. We're here today for our third broadcast of the season. Both of these teams ready to add a victory to their record as the Buffalo Bills come into town to face the Denver Broncos. I'm Al Michaels with my partner John Madden here to bring you today's game. That quarterback's not going to have an easy game because you're going to have this guy chasing after him the whole time. He's always breaking double teams to either make a play in the backfield or get a sack. One way or another, he's out there wreaking havoc on this offense. The Bills have been waiting for this one all week. They've heard about the other team's defense, but they're looking to prove that they should be talked about as well. And we've seen how tough a defense can be when they have a chip on their shoulder, so it's something we'll keep an eye on throughout. This is what you hate to see as a visitor coming in here. A team that's focused and really ready to play. And let's go to the field for the coin toss. You have called tails. Is that correct? Denver has won the toss and choose to receive. Good luck, man. They're lined up and ready for the kickoff, so let's go to the field for the start of the action. Hollis is just about ready to kick this one away. He gets the kick away. The Broncos take over on offense at the 25-yard line. It's first and ten. Portis looking for room. Off the gut. Takes free. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 35. Good game there and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first down, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. So they have first and ten here. Searching for a scene. Spinning. And he's stopped at the 44-yard line. Pickup of about eight. Second and about one. Carswell goes in motion. With the toss. Takes this one outside. Not a decisive move for the ball carrier there, Johnny. Just couldn't decide where he wanted to go. Yeah, and that's not the way you want to go. But against this defense, you don't have a heck of a lot of choices. Third and five coming up. Make it happen, D. Make it happen. Dropping back. Tosses it right. And he hits his target. He never hesitated on that call. This receiver can really do it all. He has speed, he runs great routes, and he can make catches in any kind of throw. And he's got those great hands. First and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Looking to pass. Gets the pass off. And he's only able to hang on to that one. There's really no excuse for that. You just have to catch those balls. Pull right around midfield. Throw. Greasy with the throw hits the target with the pass. Gain of 10. Right. So we have first and 10 here. the tackle at the 34. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. Second and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. Come on, 
Curtis, the long back. Greasy hands it off, breaks the tackle. And he stopped at the 31 yard line. Four yard gain on the play. Third down and three coming up. It's the pass off, knocked down. Clements knocked it down. Obviously, this guy thinks he can complete passes that he can't. Right. Elam and the kicking team come on for this field goal attempt. The long field goal attempt is on its way, and the kicker got all of that one. Jim dropped the blues with a field goal, and they seem to be relatively happy with that. They couldn't get that final push through the red zone, but their kicker came out and made sure they got at least some points on the board. He sends it off. <laughs> the Bills take over on offense at the 18-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 18. Bledsoe hands it off. Henry looking for room. Gain of seven. So they need about three here. Ball on their own 25. Across midfield, looking for room. Beautifully designed play there, John. Anytime you can get a run like that for a first, it does a lot for your whole offense. I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of play pass to build off that big game. It's first and ten. Four-man front this time. The Bills using motion. They'll go with a pass. Rips it out. Price brings him down at the 43 yard line. They're just about in field goal range. Ball on the 43 yard line. Looking to pass. He's looking. Passing right. Nice connection. Game of nine in the play. It's third down, two to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Henry, the long down. He gets the count. Runs up the middle. And he's brought down at the 27 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. They line up in the I formation. The Bills using motion. Moving left. He loses one tackle. Picked up about six yards that time. Second and four coming up here. He tried to find a hole and just got what he could. Yeah, he tried to stretch it outside, but the defense was quick to react to the play and even quicker to move off their blocks and get in a position to cover the hole. The Bills line up with two backs behind the quarterback. Molds moves in motion, looking downfield. Throwing left, and this pass is completed. Still on his feet, and he ducks out of bounds at the three. Three. 
It's first and goal. Ball is two and a half yards out. Everybody up on the line. Henry receives the handle. Can't bring him down. That was an almost perfect run in that type of situation. The offense has been knocking on the door, and now they just kicked it down. on its way and the extra point is good and so they were able to end that long drive with a touchdown the offensive unit was really in sync out there running this offense and running it very well and give some credit to that big offensive line those guys are working hard out there and it's showing on drives like that he kicks it off he takes this one upfield the Broncos will start the drive from the 22 It's first and ten. Ball on their own 22. Quick drop. Gets rid of it. It was kicked. The coverage was there, but he decided to throw it anyway. This guy's got to buckle down and make some better reads out there. Second and ten. Looking for room. Andy Stunt at the 25. Portis could be seeing more carries after that game. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give right. up on it here in the first half. Eight to go. Ball on their own 25. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Looking for a receiver. Greasy throws. Fletcher makes the stop at the 46. Face mask on the defense, number 59. That'll move the ball farther down the field. The coach is pressed not giving the other team free yardage for penalty. Guess it hasn't sunk in yet. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Set. Using motion. Looks like this one will be spotted at the 45-yard line. When you're making a game plan for the week, you look for your running game to be reliable like this. Doesn't have to pick up a ton of yardage. You just want to do something that the defense has to be aware of. The Broncos are in the offset eye formation. Smith goes in motion. Portis looking for room, looking for blockers. Even if your running game isn't over effective, running consistently with your big guys will tire out the defense because they're always taking hits and getting banged up. The teams ask which sides and will start the second quarter. Third down, less than a yard. play of this drive with the carry at the 30 Tillman stops him at the 28 he really covered some good ground there and here's a guy with great speed who can pick up the first and keep the ball moving downfield it's first and ten ball on the 28 yard line Tillman brought him down for his third tackle. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got right. no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. It's second down and seven to go. The Bills are in the offset eye formation. Hits the target with the pass. Two yard gain. The pass to number 38. A game of two on the play. They need five. Cordes is the deep back. He's looking to pass. Greasy passes to his left. He makes a great play by breaking the passes. You know, the quarterback needs to put that ball in a position where the defender can't get to it. That didn't happen there. Right. 
Elam is looking to add to their total with this attempt. And it's up. The kick sails through the uprights. A lot of plays on that drive, but they lost some of the momentum during the end of it, and they had to settle for three. They were able to pick up a few first downs there to give their kicker a chance. And he was able to do the rest to make it an effective drive. He sends this one toward the end zone. Rodgers is on his way upfield. Offense taking over again here. The last time they ran the ball very effectively and got it into the end zone. First and ten. Bledsoe with the throw. Price just couldn't find a way to come up with that one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. The Bills holding on by less than a field goal. Looking to turn it upfield. A little juice there. Wilson makes the stop at the 27-yard line. Henry keeps it on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. Eight to go. Ball on their own 27. Out of the shotgun. Looking to pass. Steps up into the pocket. Short throw. And he can't handle it. Bledsoe looked a little uncomfortable in the pocket there. It was an easy pass. How in the heck did he miss it? Right. Number eight is back to punt. O'Neal sets up, waiting for the punt. O'Neal will return this punt. Breaks free. Stop that guy from doing it back to back. Just won't go down. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. So we have first and ten here. in the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Second and eight. Ball on their own 23. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Bledsoe passes to his left. Number 52 with the tackle at the 28-yard line. They need about three. Ball on their own 28. Looking downfield. Bledsoe passes it right. And he's stuck at the 45-yard line. Moles brings down the high throw for a first down. You know with this receiver, you can throw it anywhere. You throw it high, high and behind him, he'll go get it, just like he did there. So we have first and ten here. Set. 
Henry. Ball to set. He gets the count. Stutter step. Number 52. He's starting to make his presence felt out there. He did a great job moving the ball on the ground there, John. This guy has great speed. It allows him to outrun the defenders if he can get around the corner. They're just about in field goal range. Bledsoe throwing it to the left. Hits his man with the pass. And he's brought down at the five-yard line. Congratulations to the fans sitting in section 49, row 37, secret. So it's first and goal. the call. Price makes the tackle at the seven. He was dropped behind the line. Yeah, and if you want to talk about the most effective way to stop the run, it's playing on the other side of the ball. When you get penetration like that, it's very hard for the offense to get positive yardage. Second down, goal to go. Seven yards to the goal line. Using motion. Looking downfield. Throws it. The defender broke that play up. So the pass for his time complete in the end zone. <laughs> Third and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Steps up. Surveying the field. Passing in the middle of the field. He threw it right in there for the score. The receiver ran a perfect route, and he turned around just in time to see the ball and make the catch. on its way and he takes on the extra point and so the offense is able to drive the majority of the field and finish with a touchdown well football is all about trusting your teammates to make good decisions out there in the heat of the battle when you can do that everybody starts firing on all cylinders and you can come up with drives like the one we just saw he gets the kick away lovely will bring this one upfield slips the tackle well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 26. Big play, big play. Set. Greasy with a man in motion. With the carry, just won't go down. Breaks free. A fresh set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their block and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. It's first and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Clements makes the tackle at the 41, and he picks up about four. About six to go. The Broncos can regain the lead with a field goal. And he's tackled at the 42. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Third and five. The Broncos line up with two tight ends. Dropping back. Greasy throwing it to the left. And they're able to connect on that one. The 10. And he's brought down at the six-yard line. 
McCaffrey was able to pick up more yardage after the catch. And for as good a run as that was, you know that he wanted it all. But I think he just ran out of juice. It's first and goal. The Broncos can regain the lead with a field goal. Throws over to his right. Winfield looks as if he got a hand on that pass. Yeah, and all you have to do to make a guy miss is tip it so that the ball doesn't go where you expect it to go. Here's where the defense needs to make a big play. Maybe they bring some heat with a blitz and they change up the cover. That way they can force the offense into making a mistake and keep him from getting any points before the half. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him, looking for blockers. Touchdown, Broncos. And so he takes it the rest of the way for the touchdown. He was like a locomotive with a full head of steam. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Elam is just about ready to kick this one away. He sends it off. Rodgers feels it cleanly. A battle of high-scoring offenses today. <laughs> These coaches are drawing plans and counter plans, and they're both getting it done today. <laughs> With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Drops back, passing to his right. And he hits his target. And a pickup of about two. Eight to go. A little over a minute left. Looking downfield. Passes it. Reed just couldn't find a way to come up with that. He got his hand in there to knock it down. Yeah, he did what you taught to do. And that's take away the ability for the receiver to catch the ball. He can't catch it when you knock it down. If they're thinking the defense might bring the blitz, a good way to counter that is with a screen. And that could be the call here. About eight yards. He's looking to pass. He surveys the field. Picked off. It's intercepted. And there's a flag out there. Like this, they probably want to conserve some time so they can get a score. They don't want to let the other guys have much time to do anything. First and ten. Dimebacks into this play. Greasy hands it off. Missed tackle. Clements pulls him down at the 20 yard line. So that tackle was his third. So with their second down play, they'll try to move closer to the end zone and right. with timeouts left, could try to do it through the air or on the ground. Greasy, under center. He gets the toss. Fletcher is starting to make his presence felt out there. He was able to pick up good yardage on that play. When you have a back who can pick up big chunks of yardage on his carry, it forces the defense to bring another man up to the line of scrimmage to try and control it. Every team talks about how they need to get points when they're in the red zone. If they can make the most of this, we'll see a confident group going into the locker room at halftime. Drops back. Greasy with the pass. And it's caught. The defense wasn't ready for that, and they paid the price on the touchdown pass. Looks like everyone did on that play. We had looked like there were about 11 bites. Right. 
The kick is up, and he tacks on the extra point. Elam will be kicking off. He kicks it off. That interception brought their last drive to a sudden halt. After collecting themselves on the sidelines, let's see what happens here. We might see a quick pass here on first down. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 33. The Bills line up in the shotgun. He surveys the field. Price can't come up with it on that attack. He just dropped that pass. I think he just took his eyes off that one. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. Only one man in the middle. With the carry, breaks free. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 46. He's doing a good job helping to provide a solid ground game for his team. And here's where efficiency is the key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Bledsoe lets it fly. He couldn't get it to his hand. There was no way he was going to get to that one. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 46. with a pass. Rolling left. Throwing. And it's caught. Zips that one in there, putting him just over the century mark. 34-yard gain. They're inside the 20. Drops back. Looking for an option. Steps up into the pocket. Tossing it to the middle. And he finds the open man. Gain of 10. Timeout. Call on the offense. No timeouts remain. They'll try to add three with a field goal before halftime. Dime backs into this play. Steps up. Throws it. Price was the intended receiver. He appeared to feel the pressure there. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. And so the kicker ready to come out onto the field and try to put one through the uprights before right. halftime. Less than a yard to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Set. With two extra uh. defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Stepping up, Bledsoe. Throwing it to the left. Lots of pressure, but he was able to get rid of it. He's lucky he got rid of the ball. I'll tell you, he was definitely going to take a sack. Hollis comes into the game to try the field goal. And it's on its way. The kick is good. Is good. He sends this one toward the end zone. The returner looking for room upfield. Right. First and ten. Ball on their own 22. Four man front this time. Greasy gives the ball off. Larson gets on the stat sheet by picking up his first tackle of the game. It's the end of the, the, end end of the, the second score. quarter with the score. Denver, 27. 27. Buffalo, 17. So let's pick up the action. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. 
Elam. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He gets the kick away. The Bills take over on offense at the 26 yard line. So they have first and 10 here. Bledsoe gets it on the run. Great attack. Wilson pulls him down at the 32 yard line. Henry never seems to go down in the first hit as we take a look at his rushing total and yards after contact. They need five. Ball on their own 32. Gives the ball off. Breaks free of the defender. And he goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Right. It's first and ten. The Bills use motion. Henry gets the toss. Running right. Wilson with the tackle at the 49-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll go with a pass. Steps up, looking for an option. Passing to his left. Hits the target with the pass. Bledsoe. That pass puts him over the 150-yard line. down and goal to go about five yards out Set, cut. dropping back passes it he hits his receiver Wilson laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game second and goal Everybody on the run. On the carry. Nice touchdown. move. Great rushing touchdown there. Yeah, he knew where he wanted to go, and he got there. And that's his second rushing right. touchdown of the game. Set. Cut. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. And so they're able to move the ball a distance and punch it into the end zone. I think the whole team's happy after that one. They're probably telling their defense to give them the ball back so they can go score again. Hollis is back and ready to put this one in the air. Deep to receive. He sends it off. It's up for grabs. The Bills are there to pick up the ball. Right. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 23-yard line. So he takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. If you don't use them, they go to waste. Right. So they have first and ten here. Watch the run, watch the run. Set, set, Using oh. motion, he's looking to pass. Greasy, looking for something on the right. Winfield takes him down. 
at the 31 yard line. Using motion. Your man, your man. <laughs> Drops back. Tosses it right. Hits the target with the pass. That was flawless execution. That one was all about timing. The quarterback let it go, and the receiver looked back just at the right time. Midfield. it out to the corner. When you got a running game that's working this well, I wouldn't even attempt to pass. Makes the stop at the 33 yard line. He was in on the play again for another check on the statue. Right. Seven yards to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. And it looks like an offset eye. carry it and it looks like this one will be spotted at the 24. He's now picked up over 100 yards on the ground. Right, so we have first and 10 here. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Bills. Touchdown. The defender picked it up and continued all the way down the field for the score. A turnover that turns into points is the worst thing you can have out there. The kick is up, and the extra point is good. The Bills leading in the game, but not by much. Hollis is back and ready to put this one in the air. He kicks it off. The Broncos will start the drive from the 23 yard line. All right, first and 10. He tucks it away. And he stopped at the 26. You don't need a flashy running game to win games. Sometimes all you need to do is control the clock and wear down that defense. It's second down and seven to go. Right. 
Only one man in the backfield, using motion. Greasy hands it off through the middle. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. Third and three. So they get a second chance. That ball just took a lucky bounce. Right back to the offense. <laughs> so they have first and ten here. Tillman laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. And that was a gain of seven. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Four-man front this time. With the carry. He just gets this one past the sticks. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. Right. They're just about in field goal range. Ball on the 42-yard line. Come on, defense. Rip it up. Wide, wide. The backs are lined up in an eye. He's going to throw. Passing to his right. And they're able to connect on that one. The quarterback went with the screen pass on that play. The screen could really be an effective play. It's a high percentage pass designed to allow the receiver to create his opportunity. Right. It's second down and 10 to go. Set. Man in motion. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Buffalo Bills ahead of the Denver Broncos. 31. 27. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Right. They're just about in field goal range. Cordis, the lone back. Winfield found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Third and five. Ball on the 37 yard line. Switch it up. Sing, sing. And it looks like it lost it up. On the carry. Running consistently will always have the defense wondering what your next play call is going to be. Right. Elam leads the field goal team into the game for the attack. He needs good distance on this one. It's good. Success returning kicks. We get ready for the kickoff. He sends this one toward the end zone. This has been a great game. This game's been like a boxing match. A big punch and a counter punch by the other team. I don't know about you, but I'm on the edge of my seat. First and ten. He hands it off. 
Reese makes the tackle after 28. He's starting to make his presence felt out there. Second and ten. Ball on their own 28. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Dropping back. Blitzo throws right. And they're able to connect on that one. Great reception on that play, John. Looks like someone might have blown their coverage on that one. down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Quick drop. He surveys the field. He goes to the left side. Price, the intended receiver. Middle breaks. Did a nice job of breaking up that pass play. And he did a nice job of catching up with that one and breaking it up. Number eight will come into this game to punt. O'Neill will be looking to give his team good field position here. O'Neill will be looking for some good blocking on the run back. They turn their last possession into three points. Let's see what they do with the ball this time around. It's first and ten. The Broncos are in the offset eye formation. He's going to throw. Passes it. And he makes the grab. The receiver found a hole in the secondary, and the quarterback found him with the pass. The defense could never let up out there. This guy could make some incredible catches. First and ten. Reese under center. Portis gets the delayed handle. Winfield makes the stop at the 33-yard line. He was there again for the fifth time. Second and five. it out to the left. The defender broke that play up. Greasy didn't show much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. It's third down and five to go. He's looking to pass. Passing right. He hits his receiver. He didn't have to make any adjustments to come up with that catch. A few more like that, and this guy's going to be in the All Madden team. Right. First and ten. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 21. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. And they need about nine. Fifth play of this drive. Drops back, looking downfield. It's the pass off. Fletcher makes the tackle, and so that's number six. Pick up of about five. A little over four to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Broncos are in the offset eye formation. He shakes the defender. Tillman makes the tackle, and so that's number six. He's over 100 yards in the fourth quarter. You can't ask for much more than that from your back.
Elam is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. And it's on its way. The kick sails through the uprights. And so John the drive comes up a little shorter than they might have liked, but they still managed to come away with a field goal. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll take a touchdown for their next one. He gets the kick away. He decides not to return this one. This has been a great game. This game's been like a boxing match, a big punch and a counter punch by the other team. I don't know about you, but I'm on the edge of my seat. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. They'll go to run. Loses the defender. And with that last carry, over 100 yards for the day. Bledsoe gets set. Looking for blockers. Looking for room to the outside. Can't bring him down. And he's stuck at the 40. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Four-man front this time. Looking to pass. Tosses it right. Reamers move. Drops it. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 40. Four-man front this time. He sees something in the defense. Dropping back. He surveys the field. With the pass. The defender was able to get in there to disrupt the pass. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the easiest way to disrupt a pass play. The defensive line should take full credit for that play. Third down and long coming up here. They've done very well on third down to this point. Looking downfield, Bledsoe passes to his left. Middlebrooks records the stop at the 47. He was there again for the fifth time. Face mask on the defense, number 23. Well, it appears he's injured. He's getting off the field okay, so we'll have to wait to find out what we can from Melissa in just a moment. <coughs> it's first and ten. The Bills can regain the lead with a field goal. They'll go with the run. When you have a guy who can carry the ball for over 100 yards a game, you have half of what you need on offense to get to the Super Bowl. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into cover. Two minutes to the final gun. Right. Melissa, what's up? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury, but it doesn't appear to be anything serious. His return is probable. Thanks, Melissa. That's very good news. Mobley brings him down at the 34-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Bledsoe directing traffic. It seems like the back is seeing the holes even before they open up out there. Kind of like a Superman. The one thing the offense needs to focus on is positive yards. Right now, they need to eat up the clock and keep the kicker within distance. I'll tell you, if they pass, they cannot take a sack. The Bills can regain the lead with a field goal. Here's the carry. Missed tackle. 
Wilson makes the play at the 25-yard line. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. It's third down and a yard. Ball on the 25-yard line. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Running to the outside. Middlebrooks takes him down at the 18. The defense needs to be looking to force a turnover here. Because if they don't, they might end up losing this thing in the final seconds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Bills can regain the lead with a field goal. Looking for an opening. Number 52 brings him down at the 14-yard line. Down inside the 15. Bledsoe sets up. The Bills use motion. Henry gets the toss. Looking for blockers. He tried to find a hole and just got what he could. Yeah, he tried to stretch it outside. But the defense was quick to react to the play. And even quicker to move off their blocks and get in a position to cover the hole. down to this. Their kicker will determine the outcome of the game. Hollis will try to put them ahead with this field goal. And it's up. And the kicker got all of that one. That's all she wrote. The final score is Buffalo 34. Denver 33. This concludes another EA Sports presentation. For John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michaels saying so long.